What's going on Sim Racers? This is Larry at TJR Sim here and today I've got a new product to show you. This is a H pattern shifter. It's actually a 7 plus reverse or it could be an 8 speed uh, shifter. Now uh, disclaimer this was supplied to me from GSTP Racing. This is their their uh, branded product. Uh, of course I've seen these made in several places but uh, this is from GSTP Racing. They are not in control of the video or are guiding my impressions of this. This was just merely supplied for review uh, for them. So they don't review my video before it gets published. And uh, so yeah, uh, nothing nothing more than you can ask for is, is uh, uh, being able to provide you with my bi unbiased opinion on this, uh, on this product. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the review. So, um, like I said, this is a uh, 7 plus 1 or 7 plus reverse R8 pattern shifter. It's a very mechanical shifter. This is actually a price-wise, we'll get the price out of the way here real quick. This is $49.99. So this is a entry-level uh, H pattern shifter plus sequential. Actually, it works as sequential as well with this little device here. Uh, works good too, actually, in, in all regards. Uh, the material is stainless steel. Internals, as you can probably move that out of the way, probably, probably see there, stainless steel internals and aluminum housing here. So very sturdy construction. It uses micro switches in here for the, uh, the register of the shifts, as you can see. Uh, and then um, you'll actually see the... Uh, Roller bearings. Let me see if I can get in close there. You see those? Yeah. Those Sorry, are, those. I'm still not sure about that. Oh Siri. <laughs> All right. So it has those roller bearings right there uh, that that you're having to push past, and then there's a yellow spring in there as well. Uh, let's see if we can pick this up. There it is. You can kind of see it. Yeah, right there. That yellow spring that's in there and that is providing the resistance of closing those bearings together right uh, so nice robust design but simple design it's a very simple design uh, of course it has a see it has like a spring actuator to keep this from or keep it to recenter right on its own uh, as well so uh, pretty neat uh, design it's pretty standard as far as any H pattern shifter you get from other brands like Fanatic or or uh, or many others right um, so nice thing about this being the the construction is it's small uh, this uh, steel construction is a small platform it has a nice heavy shifter knob ball little eight ball <laughs> knob here this looks like it's like an m12 uh, pattern here to screw on brass fittings here has a little lock screw uh, right here as well uh, to lock it up because this this isn't threaded too deeply, as you can see. So you still have a little bit extra thread here. And the way this came, this was up kind of in the thread there to kind of keep it out of the way, uh, to kind of hold in place. But this, this little device has a lot of tension on it anyways. Uh, so it doesn't propagate down into the H pattern shifter from a lot of use. I've been banging some gears on this for, for uh, a few days now, and uh, it holds up really well. So. You can of course change out your knobs to whatever knob you like. I actually like the eight ball knobs. I never like the way eight ball knobs look, honestly, uh, but, but I like how they feel in the hand because when you're pushing it, you're, I'm usually pushing it with the palm or I'm grabbing it with my fingers and going back with my fingers. And it's it's really smooth, you know, to, to be able to do that. So I do like a, uh, an eight ball type shifter. <laughs> It'd be nice to have a little eight on there, right? But yeah, I digress. Um, what else on this thing? So micro switches, uh, eight ball on there. The pattern is a small platform pattern. I actually put this on my 8020. I got a Simlabs P1X. Uh, links below for affiliate links for those as well. But uh, yeah, it slides right in, locks it into place with two bolts and doesn't go anywhere. It works very well for me. Um, it has for this actually device right here, this little lockout, you see it has a little, little uh, let's see if we can get in there, a little, little holes in there that you could put a screw through there to tighten this up even more which of course have right here as well uh, I was fooling around with it and pulling it off because it was fairly tight from the factory 
uh, so I could slide it down, right? And uh, but I don't see that I really even need this. It's something else to uh, keep up with, I guess. But uh, yeah, you can leave it on there. But uh, be sure if you do leave it on here to tighten it up. I had lost the nut and the or the screw and the nut went on the ground when I was using it because I forgot to tighten it up. But um, it's got enough resistance here. I find that you don't even need to use it. Now I won't be using this as a sequential shifter myself, although it works well. Uh, because I'll use a little bit more robust shifter that I have, uh, A-logs. But I put this through its paces uh, with the sequential as well as the H-pattern shifter. And I forgot how much fun H-pattern shifters are to use. And so, yeah, this was, this was pretty dang fun to use uh, as well. So uh, it got me interested in getting back into H-pattern shifters again for, for some of these cars. A lot of modern cars now, you know, shifting uh, sequential and paddle shifters are the way to go. But inexpensive solution to be able to have that option for some old school cars to uh, just go through and row some gears and quite fun using your clutch because uh, I have a Husenfeld sprint pedals I have a clutch that sits there I hardly ever use besides resting my foot on it right so uh, having H pattern shifters is pretty cool little fun little addition to do so I do like rowing some gears uh, with that said small pattern uh, aluminum construction easy to mount the uh, cord is 140 centimeters USB connection on here. It's a nice braided cable. I've seen this device on like eBay, Amazon. Actually, they have a store on Amazon as well. Uh, I'll give you affiliate links to the Amazon uh, store as well as straight to their website. GSTP Racing, just a, a side note, is, is they sell a lot of car parts, uh, auto accessories and stuff. Uh, so it's neat that they're getting uh, into some sim racing as well. So. Uh, like I said, I'll have a handbrake coming coming out review for that as well. But um, yeah, now it looks like uh, some of them that I've seen uh, didn't have a nice braided cable, uh, so maybe they had ordered these, you know, to get at it with a upgraded cable. So very nice, nice nylon uh, doesn't hang up on anything as well, and it's long, 140 centimeters, so should match your needs. Uh, of course, matches mine on my sim rig again. So. All right, so with that said, let's look at some pros and cons in here. So first pro, since I'm holding <laughs> the nylon uh, braided cable here, uh, is it's a long cable, it's braided, high quality cable. Love that. Uh, it doesn't hang up on anything. Uh, it's just, it looks nice, right? And it's sturdy. Uh, other pro, which I didn't discuss yet, is the ramps. It has nice ramps on this. Let me see if I get this in the camera right. Right there. So it has these nice nice ramps, right, that guide it, these ramps that guide it through each gear. It's, it's uh, pretty hard to miss a gear when you're rolling through gears. Now, when I'm saying I'm in the, in the flow of, of driving and stuff, I, I a lot of times will have a hard time going to fifth and sixth on a lot of things, but this one wasn't too bad. I, I hardly ever miss fifth uh, on this. So, you know, when I'm going to fourth, I just push over to fifth. It just glides right into gear. Now, keep in mind, you can have this reversed in your mounting pattern, right? You can have it this way or this way, uh, depending on which way you want your cord facing, right? So this is probably more preferred for me because my computer is up in front of my device, but uh, in front of my rig, rather. So this works good for me. Um, but yeah, pros, nice guided uh, ramps here. Very good mechanical feel. Uh, it has that, that pushover effect. It's fairly uh, hard to push. It's not hard to push by, but it has a good resistance to push past these to push past these roller bearings in there. Uh, if we can see those again, yeah, it has a really good resistance to push past them, which I like. Uh, for a fifty dollars shifter, I, I was actually thinking this was going to be pretty light, uh, like you barely just flip flip it over. They have a Logitech uh, uh, shifter that you get with like your G29. It's horrific. It's just horrible shifter as far as mechanical feel. This feels a hundred times better than the little cheap little uh, Logitech shifters that you can buy on the market. So uh, definitely an upgrade from that for uh, 50 bucks. I think those are uh, I don't know, $59 or $79, somewhere in there. I'd have to look up uh, the price again on those. But um, much better shifter than, say, a Logitech. Being an entry level, I like this. Uh, this is PC only, uh, just to keep that in mind. 
Uh, if you wanted to use it for consoles or something, you'd have to get another third-party device. That uh, There's a few of them out there that you can plug these in as a USB, and you'll be able to synchronize it in on your, on your gaming console. So, uh, But, yeah, for now, PC only. Uh, unless you have that third-party device. But uh, other thing is good mounting options. Another pro is good mounting options here. Uh, I like the versatility of being able to slide this. I didn't have to put the bolt here on the outside on there. I mean, it didn't have drilled holes. It just has a slot here, which made it easy for me just to slide this back and forth on my rig to my desired position. Uh, it does actually have a couple threaded holes here, two of them, two of them here, uh, which I don't know what size that is. That looks like probably an M4, uh, but that you'd have to. I'd have to try it out and see what it is, but you could, I guess, go from bottom and screw right into there if you wanted to, to hold it in place. So, interesting there enough. But these work just fine. I, these are really the purpose of it is, is to mount with these. Um, yeah. Another, another positive is for $50, again, is you got 8-speed or 7-speed plus reverse, and you have a sequential uh, setup. So, just to show you the sequential real quick. You can slide that down into place and so yeah works good uh, I never really had a problem with this working itself out but I could see if you're really just kind of forgetting about the sequential mode you uh, if you want to use this in sequential mode I would probably put the screw back in to make sure that it stays tight on the shaft so you don't work it out uh, so uh, but yeah, you, you could, I think with some rubbing, you could work it out eventually. Uh, but yeah, it just slides in. Of course you see these little tabs here, uh, that fit in the grooves perfectly and the way this is sized and spaced, it doesn't activate the micro switch until you, of course, push on the gate, right? To, to activate it. So clever little design, uh, as opposed to say, um, say a Thrustmaster where they have that plate that goes over it and it just locks it in place that way. <laughs> this is super fast and easy to slide it down in place when you want to use a sequential, slide it up out of the way when you don't. Uh, you just reprogram it in your game for, you know, uh, upshift, downshift. Super easy, super fast. I like, I like that fact of it. So another pro. Okay, so cons. Cons for me is, is two. Uh, I don't like the way this looks. It's purely aesthetics for me. Uh, I'd rather this be black. I love how easy this is to slide on and off, but I would I would like some like color choices uh, on this. Like, could you get this in red or black or something? Just kind of to kind of offset the colors or make the colors blend in, right? Uh, that would be a cool little option. So something to think about uh, them if if they're getting this with ordering it with say braided cables maybe you can get these in different colors different dyed colors uh like red blue uh, black uh something like that so that's a neat little thing uh, kind of a half of a con really uh because aesthetics but aesthetics to me is important so this has a nice brushed aluminum look to it it looks really nice um so yeah but this stands out as like you know just and uh, not necessarily an afterthought, it's, it's thought through, but a little little cheap looking here. But anyway, other than that, but uh, the, main, the main gripe, I guess, would be is the loudness. It's very, very loud. So as you can tell, it's pretty loud because you're metal to metal contact on this. And uh, so yeah, I would add, I, I, would, I would add a little rubber sleeve to this and uh, to quieten it down. For me, and my, I have a separate room for sim racing, so it's not a big deal if it's loud, but uh, it would be nice to have a little rubber sleeve on here to quieten, to dampen the sound a little bit, especially for people that are in like apartments and stuff. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that's, that's the only two, the two cons I have. I mean, this is a list of pros for 50 bucks, and uh, <laughs> price being one of the pros, and just two little minor cons. So yeah, pretty good shifter here. Uh, I'll end out this video of me rowing through some gears. Uh, on, on, on one of the sims and that way you can see it in action and uh, you know, you see, see it in play, right? See how, how, how it feels, how it looks. It looks kind of a little bit more, maybe, I don't know if you can tell if it looks mechanical or you can, I know when I watch videos I look to see like, does the guy have a lot of resistance when he pushes past or is it just like flimsy and just 
quick and easy. Like uh, say a Logitech, it's like you use your fingers to push past <laughs> into each gear. Where this one, you, you got to put some effort into it. So not as much effort as, as say the resistance on a sequential shifter like this Aolog's shifter I have. Of course, this is sequential, but that that resistance, this is the type of resistance I like. This, of course, is not $50 either. <laughs> And then the same with the Husenfeld. I have a Husenfeld sequential shifter. Again, I like this resistance. This isn't tight enough. This isn't hard enough as say my uh, AL logs. Uh, it did increase when I when I put the shorter handle on it because you have a, a smaller lever moment. But yeah, this is again, these are not comparable because they're not fifty dollars. So price point wise, it's a fairly good deal. So this. So anyway. That's it. I'll leave you, leave you closing out with a video of me running some gears and uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, would you pick this up for yourself? I'll leave some affiliate links to it. It just helps out the channel so I can uh, buy more products to review for you. But I like being able to show uh, the audience some entry level uh, uh, gear because I know when I was getting into sim racing, this can get pretty expensive and this is a dual purpose. Uh, eight speed or seven plus reverse and a and, and a sequential. Oh, and one last thing, they also have a six plus reverse, which has a lockout reverse. And I'll flash that up on the screen now so you can look at that. But of course, it's on their website to review as well or to take a look at as well. So till next time, I'm out. Alrighty, so now we're in Forza Motorsports, which I call it Forza Eight. <laughs> but uh, go over here into your your caliber into your input where you can put your inputs in and just simply we're just trying to assign the gears for this H Panther shifter. So click gear one, there it is, gear two, let me tighten my knob down. Uh, gear three, gear four, gear five. Oops, go back to gear five. I had it in gear five when I hit six. So, all right, gear six. And gear seven. And then I'm not gonna sign eight. You actually get all the way to 10 on this one. I'll sign this last one as reverse. All right, so, close, save, there you go. And of course, if you just wanted to do the sequential, you'll slide this device down in like I showed you earlier and uh, just assigned your up and back gear. But for this, we'll go ahead and just do some racing with uh, uh, with H pattern shifter. So let's see if I can find a free play car, quick event, let's get some standard shift. Some old school. Well, BRM, that's old school, isn't it? that out. Uh, random wire weather. We're just going to go mostly clear. And I find that they get a little confused with a bunch of cars. So I'm going to down to 17. Don't really care about the track. Go. quiet and you can hear how this sounds shifting as well as uh, you know see what's going on on the track. Winning at Magello is all about stringing together multiple high speed turns over the various elevations.
this look at this uh, H pattern shifter. Until next time, I'm out.